figured I would take a moment today to introduce you to the plane I've been using in my more recent flight videos. This is the Turnigy Tech Sumo. It's a 900 millimeter foam wing from Hobby King, and it ranges from about 30 to 35 dollars U.S. depending on which warehouse you purchase it from. Um, my initial thoughts on this thing is, um, wow, uh, it's actually a really good. 30 dollars gets you up into the air, easy to assemble, very easy to fly, and requires very few parts to get this thing going. Um, I did upgrade. They originally recommend a 9 gram servo. I went to a 14 gram Metal Gear servo. Probably just on my own paranoia, but uh, on initial reviews of this wing, I found that the it was stated that these hinges are actually pretty stiff. Um, combine that with cold weather flying, and uh, yeah, that's quite a bit of work for a 9 gram. So I have had 9 grams fail on me in the past, so I just went to a 14 gram off the hop, and it seems to perform pretty well with them. Um, I'm using a Naze 32 for flight stabilization. Um, also, I do all my mixing internally, so uh, I don't have to do much on my radio. Uh, it's This is the Acro board. It's an Afro flight, once again, from Hobby King. Um, cost me, I think it was about $24 when I bought it. Um, good little board. Um, originally I was running a full naze, but uh, I made a mistake that a lot of other people have made that are running the minimal SD. I figured, hey, the video transmitter puts out 5 volts, the minimal SD takes 5 volts, why not power the minimal SD off the video transmitter? Well, that causes feedback to the uh, flight controller and, uh, yeah, cooks the CPU on it, so don't do that. Um, I have since swapped it out with this one that I've had sitting around in a bin, and I'm running a mini U Blocks GPS. Uh, they're usually available for about $12 to $15 online. Um, now, originally I was running this in its original case, but um, if you try and run this GPS at 115.2, it gets hot. Um, melted the case to basically just a big blob, so. Um, Pulled the GPS out, tested it, it seems to work just fine, so I just took it out of the case and put it in a little bit of shrink wrap. Um, now, the big downfall with this Naze is, one, it's revision 5, so when I went to hook up the FR Sky using SBUS, you have to create this little inversion cable. Now, you can use an SBUS to CPPM adapter. Um, they work just fine, and I have a few, but they're all currently in use on my other quads and tricopters, so... I wasn't going all out with connections, no Bluetooth or anything on this one, so I just connected it uh, up with the S bus. But that means I had to disable the USB. So what I've done is I've run my two. I've activated the two soft serials. One of them is powering the minimum OSD at 19.2, so my readouts are a little slow, but that's okay. It seems to work just fine. And the other one is available for a UART adapter that I can plug into my PC for configuring with uh, clean flight. I am running the Mobius both as the HD recorder as well as the FPV camera. Honestly, the view is fantastic. Um, it's very clear. Um, other than it might be a little slow on reacting to the light, um, it hasn't caused me any problems. And the delay that a lot of people all talk about, oh, you know, we can't fly with a Mobius, it's just too, le uh, too low. It hasn't really affected it in the wing setup. Um, I fly through between power lines and around trees, branches and such, uh, pretty close to the ground, and it hasn't caused me any issues whatsoever. So I'm quite happy on flying with the Mobius. Um, I'll probably be flying my next wing on a Mobius as well. So uh, it's a great little camera for things like that. Um, now the video transmitter is a 600 milliwatt immersion RC and I'm running that on an extension cable up to a polarized antenna. I like to run the extension cables just simply I've snapped uh, the uh, port off of the uh, immersion RC before and it's a hundred dollar uh, video transmitter, so that's actually one of the most expensive parts of the wing, so for now on I run these little extension cables, softens any blows, and uh, actually allows me to allocate the antenna nice and high on there. Um, the whole video for the setup is crystal clear through my goggles, I'm running Fat Shark, and uh, I can go the full range until the th my radio starts basically telling me that I'm starting to reach uh, halfway on my RSSI, and then actually 35% I have set for critical. 
and I mean I could maintain video right through the loss of radio communication so uh, and it's crystal clear there's no lines there's no nothing coming through I have everything set far enough away from everything else that uh, yeah it's just crystal clear video great flying experience for battery, I'm running the 1.5 amp Nanotech. It's a Turner G product, 2550C, so 1500 milliamp. Um, originally, I had intended on running two of these, one on each wing, but uh, after doing my initial flight tests, I found that uh, I'm getting about 12 to 18 minutes of flight time out of that little battery. So everything's done and said for. I figured, you know what? 12 to 18 minutes and that's normal flying that's not being gentle that's that's my usual around 50 60 percent throttle um out there cranking it around um, this will fly at about 20 percent throttle it's kind of slow very boring and you're not going to climb too high but uh other than that it will cruise around at 20 percent throttle just fine um the motor is a 2306 2150 kv multi-star mini monster once again another hobby king product um fantastic little motor um, very efficient I find um, it's pushing a 7.3 slow fly um, honestly I just I'm having an issue with my first ESC I had a 30 amp Turner G plush and um, well you can see scorching marks it kind of decided to blow flames at the side of it on when I went to check the motor rotation now Hobby King is sending me out a replacement um, I've never actually had that happen before I've had tons of Turner G plush uh, speed controllers so um, I've just kind of put this old 18 amp plush I've had kicking around now. It had short little wires and 2 millimeter bullets on it, so I had to open it up, cut, re-solder down some new wire, and uh, then I noticed it didn't have enough heat shrink of the proper size, so it's just wrapped in electrical tape for now. Um, the whole setup is drawn probably about 15 amps anyway, so um, that 7.3 prop doesn't actually put much draw on the plane, still lets me use plenty of power. And like I said, I usually don't fly over 50-60% at the max. Um, anything more than that, and I'm putting the plane too quick and it starts to flutter quite a bit. Um, that's pretty much it. That is my Turnigy Tech Zoo. I love this little wing, and I highly recommend to anybody else that's looking for a good starter plane or something that'll slow fly for good aerial video. Um, it's just been fantastic. Um, yeah, uh, you can find tons of reviews on these. They are a go-to wing for a lot of people. Um, cheap, simple to build, simple to fly, and uh, will take a beating. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, I love this wing, and hope to see much more video from it uh, in the near future. Just waiting for this Canadian weather to uh, to settle down a bit so that I can get out and get more flights in. So everybody, uh, happy flying.